Ta-da! Oh, my bad. Buy brand new ITX temporary gaming computer. So, this is going to be the ITX build. And also, what's special about this is that this is going to be my first ever Intel gaming computer. And all of these are going to this guy. Alex, what is that? This is my first ever... Let me move my streaming mic out of the way. My first ever... Um... Gaming computer. I bought... This is what's actually my first gaming computer back in 2018. It, it's an ITX build. Uh, back then, I, I was using AMD 2700X... Uh, RTX 2070 until 20 Super, which is over there behind in the shelves. Uh, same power supply, this and that, yada yada yada. So now I'm going to build. Years later, I haven't used I haven't used this case ever since I upgraded to this case and my other streaming computer, which is at the repair shop. But currently, um, this has been collecting dust. I said to myself, you know what? It's time to build a temporary gaming computer. So, to occupy myself throughout the rest of 2024. So now, I'm going to be building, installing all these parts, new fresh parts, on this ITX build. Which is, um, if you guys are curious, it's a Thermaltake P1 case. This is the smallest ITX uh, case from Thermaltake. And honestly, I love the look of it. It looked really awesome back then. I it was This was actually my first gaming computer, ever. And I loved it. And I kind of miss it. Now I want it back. But now I've organized my desk a little bit, my whole entire setup, as you guys can tell. I even installed brand new uh, uh, pegboards from Ikea. And also from Asus, which is pretty awesome. What do you guys think? <laughs> and I also installed my monitors. I'm like, it's time. It's time to get back to streaming. It's time to get back to making YouTube videos for fun. It's time to play. It's time to use a computer. I have not used a computer for nearly three months now. Three goddamn months. Unless you can't, this little guy is a, you know, a computer. Well, it is technically. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited to build this. And I'm going to show you guys the build process of this because I'm just excited. I'm just really excited to build this. Again, this is not going to be the best gaming computer out there. It's going to be uh, my temporary gaming computer until, like I said, again, fall season or, or uh, holiday season where I'm going to uh, buy premium parts for my game, uh, high-end gaming computer. Um, this, um, I lost my thought. A few minutes later. This computer is going to only have two terabytes worth of storage. It's going to have um, an RTX 3080, Intel i7 2700KF. It's going to be, a, it's it's perfectly great. It's good for 1080p or even 1440p. But for 4K, I'm not going to really push this puppy to 4K. So my plan is, I'm also going to mention this in my, um, my, um, my first video. I'm treating this in my second video. My streaming computer is going to be back on its spot over there. My temporary gaming computer is going to be there. And this guy, my main gaming computer, is going to be here where it was. And you guys might be asking, Alex, did you just said that you're going to have three gaming computers? Yeah. That, yeah. I'm going to have three gaming computers by the end of the year. You guys might be asking, why? I fucking can. That's why. <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. I know two gaming computers is enough, especially for streaming, um, um, gaming, uh, making content, etc., 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 crap like that. But how did I went? How did I go from two gaming computers last year to now zero computers? That taught me a massive lesson. Like shit can happen. Shit happens when you build a gaming computer, unless you make a critical mistake. I been building computers since 2018. I have a lot of experience. Unfortunately, I made with I went through a critical mistake back in de back in December, and now this is I learned it the hard way, and I accidentally sent it to a PC repair shop, and it's taken them over two months to repair. Yeah, l life has been a little harsh when it comes to uh, uh, PC gaming for me, but yeah, <laughs> but um, now it's here, new fresh parts. 
Oh, my first ever DDR5 and Intel uh, gaming PC. I'm ready to build this right now. So enough talking and yeah, let's start building right now. Hoping that nothing go, nothing bad happens. And yeah, <laughs> let's see how it goes. Now let's start building. But before I start building, I should show you, share you guys the parts I bought. These were on sale. Well, no, I lied. Only one part was on sale, which is the Intel i7. But the rest were on stock. So this was about $800 without the graphics card and power supply. So let's start with uh, the most important. This is my first ever Intel CPU. The Intel iCore or i7 core 2700KF. I did a little research comparisons. This CPU is actually ah, two, a little too, uh, above two years old. And it feels weird seeing C Intel CPU in my room. Look at that. You see that? There it is. There it is. It feels weird seeing it in my room because I've always been, as you guys can tell, Team AMD. But I've decided to go uh, try something different because why not? So basically, my streaming computer, AMD, Intel, and my future PC that's going this side. I can't tell if it'll be Intel or AMD. I'll decide later on throughout the year. Um, so yeah, this is, it's a great CPU, especially for 1080p gaming and 1440p gaming. I'm planning to, do, I'm planning to also upgrade to 1440p OLED later this year for this monitor. I'll talk more about that later, but, um, yeah, this is, I think this is a good head start or a fresh start for Intel for me. I don't want to spend too much money on an Intel CPU. Uh, the, my current RTX 3080 founds edition, you I already showed you guys this GPU multiple times throughout my videos. I don't, I don't, you guys don't really have to see it. I already showed you guys multiple times. My first ever DDR5 RAM, the Trident Z5 RGB. Apparently the RGB makes the uh, RAM faster. <laughs> but yeah, here it is. I forgot what speed it was. Uh, this is also, if you guys are curious, this is also 32 gigabytes. And I forgot the speed of it. I, I just bought it. I was like, I need new RAM. <laughs> and uh, moving on. New fresh uh uh PC cables from Cable Mod. I really love Cable Mod, even though they have a little um there's a little controversy with their one of their uh adapters for the for the four thousand series, but other than that I love their cables. I decided to go all black because I think all black just looks the best, in my opinion, for this guy for my little project here. I'll leave that off the side. This is my brand new, uh, I don't, I really don't have to show you guys. This is new, new Thermal Taste. I decided to go with Thermal Grizzly this time. Because the last time I went with, um, uh, Corsair. It, it was, you know, it, it's, it's, it's pace. It's Thermal Pace. So I decided to try something different. Because it comes with a wiper, what do you call it? Spreader, whatever for the thing. So hopefully it'll help out. And my old two current SSDs. These were previously on this guy. They're both one terabyte. SSD 980, 970 Evo. Yeah, I don't know. It's just SSDs. They're they're old. They're old, so it'll, it'll get the job done. And here's a here's the other two highlights. My second ever dual uh, AIO cooler from ASUS. My first one was from Thermal Take. I still have it in the garage, but it's pretty old. And I decided to uh, to just retire it and up buy a new fresh one. And this is the new one from ASUS, ASUS RUG, Ryo 3, 240, ARGB, CPU, CPU, uh, AIO liquid cooler. Looks pretty awesome. I think it'll look really beautiful on this guy. I always want to get something flashy. And that's what I love about ASUS. They're, they're flashy. They, they make flashy stuff. I, I'm like a goddamn seagull or a pigeon or, or a, uh, crow. I love shiny things. <laughs> and here is the newest. This is the, um... Um, the ASUS ROG Strix B760i gave me uh, Wi-Fi. This is my second ever ITX motherboard because I did have an ITX motherboard, which is also in my garage. I looked over it and I said to myself, you know what? It's a couple years old. I think I'm just going to retire it and decide to go for uh, to buy something new, which is this guy. This is also um for Intel CPUs, DDR5, LGA1700, PCI... 5.0. It's basically, you know, ready for next gen uh, GPUs, Intel, you know, CPUs, this and that, yada yada yada. And yeah, here it is. The 
the features and such. So looks pretty badass, honestly. So it looks cool. I, 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 it looks cool overall. That's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, but yeah, pretty much that's all the parts I bought for this little guy, my temporary game computer. It's funny that I said temporary, but this actually might be my permanent uh, um, uh, gaming computer throughout the year. And I don't know what's gonna ha what I'm gonna do to this thing once I build another, you know. Buy parts for this guy. Maybe I'm, I'm still gonna keep it. Probably. I'm still deciding if I should keep it or not. But yeah, here it is. Now it's time to get building. All right, here we are, starting with the ITX motherboard for the start. All right. Oh, all right. Cut it. Whoops. All right. Ooh. Looks clean. Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Here it is. Isn't she a beauty or what? Look at this. Sheesh. My second ever ITX motherboard from Asus. Look at that. You can see the, the other secondary M.2 SSD slot. The first one goes in here. This goes to the graphics card. And this is uh, for Intel CPU. Man, it feels weird. It feels really, really weird carrying a motherboard. That's for Intel. I'm not used to it. So, <laughs> oh my God. We'll put that off to the side here. And let's start here. I'm a little tired because I just got back from an hour drive. I decided to go hang out with buddies and such. And here is some Asus rug goodies. What we got here? What we got here? This keychain, I already have this. It's already in my backpack. The magnet antenna router for the motherboard to connect by Wi-Fi. I already have this as well. Some extra zip ties, I guess, for organizing the cables. No idea what this is for, actually. Uh, extra slots? I don't know. Cable slots for SATA ports? I don't know. Try to figure out what this is exactly. Hmm. And also, I got the this. I think this is a heat pad for um an extra heat pad for the SSDs, the M.2 SSDs, extra screws, warranty from ASUS. Looks pretty nice. And last but not least, you can't go wrong without stickers. Yay! Some stickers. Yay! ASUS rug stickers. I'm actually gonna put this on my case. I might as well. <laughs> Newest stickers. I think my, um, here it is. My, um, how should I say it? I'm actually going to read this too. My, uh, new, uh, CPU cooler also has stickers as well. Pretty good, but it's, it's like, I'm kind of used to this because I've opened so many Asus products in the past. So all of these is not really new to me. Like I already have this. I mean, I can my backpack, I could take another one, I guess, but... <laughs> But yeah, we'll leave that all down for now. And now it's time to get this guy out of the way. Not too heavy. It feels refreshing. Not not carrying a heavy, heavy, heavy motherboard, unlike the my last motherboard, which is freaking heavy. The heaviest motherboard I ever carried. Look at this beauty right here. Oh my god. This actually looks pretty cool. I can't lie. This actually looks really, really cool. I don't think there's a lot of RGB, unfortunately. You guys know me. I love RGB on my computers. But eh, it is what it is. But yeah, it looks pretty good. My first ever Intel DDR5 ROM motherboard. ITX motherboard. Nice. We'll leave this off to the side right here. Put this guy away. Actually, I might put this guy here for now. Alright, have these two SSDs ready. I'm also going to put this right here. 
nine times, nine, uh, nine. See, I can't even talk right now. That's what a one hour driving the freeway makes you do. New Ram 6. DDR5 Ram. I'm gonna make sure I don't want to damage the box either. There we go. <clears throat> Come on, careful. All right, here we go. Sheesh. These actually look really badass. Look at this. New stickers as well. Can't go wrong without stickers. Uh. And here it is, the new Ram sticks. DDR5 Ram sticks. Looks very stealthy. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice or what? Jesus, looks really nice. Really, really nice. Probably a good choice to choose for DDR5 RAM based upon looks and such. Um, and now I'm going to put this off the side right here. What's next? I'm actually going to get this out of the way first. Thermal paste. This is a Grizzly Thermal, Thermal Grizzly. Never used these guys before, but Thermal Paste is Thermal Paste in my opinion. I don't think there's any difference. Unless there is, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh... Come on. Oh, wow. I, can't, I, I actually cannot even open this. Good thing I got this guy. There we go, see? I love this Batarang's knife. I don't know if I ever showed you guys this. See? Isn't that cool or what? I had this for a long, long time. It has cut so many tapes and boxes. And myself a couple times. <laughs> but yeah. There we go. Ooh, ah, not leaked. I don't want to show the code. <laughs> and here it is, new thermal paste, thermal grizzly. It's a little smaller than I expected, honestly. A lot smaller compared to the Corsair one, but whatever. <laughs> That's really tiny. And now, it has spreader, which is right here. Where the heck is that? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I already dropped it, see? The spreader for the thermal paste. Nice. Ah, I, just, just, I don't want to leak the freaking code. I don't know what a code is, but the code's the code. <laughs> Last but not least, the Intel Core i7-12700KF. This looks really simple packaging. Oops. Excuse me. Hopefully I'm not cutting the box. Am I? Oh my god, I'm cutting this wrong. I'm actually cutting this wrong. Whatever, I'm gonna cut it this way. I am so tired, but I just want to get this over with. <laughs> the Intel process. Ooh, free stickers as well. Nice. Can't wait to put that in my case. And here it is. My first ever Intel CPU in hands, or in my hands, I should say. Man, how do you actually remove this thing? Come on, get off! Here it is. 
My first ever Intel CPU. It looks a little weird. I cannot lie with you guys. It actually looks a little weird. The i7-12700KF. What the heck? I cannot stop looking at it. <laughs> it actually looks weird compared to an AMD CPU. It really does. You guys are curious. Here's a comparison to an AMD uh, 3950X CPU in an Intel CPU. Look at that. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting design and engineering behind all these CPUs. Look at that. Looks pretty cool, huh? <laughs> so, as I mentioned earlier, I built computers gaming computers several times over the past year and I pretty much know what I'm doing so but just in case before I do all of this or uh, I'm gonna actually read the manual just in case to see if uh, there's anything new from the motherboard because this is like a next gen DDR5 motherboard but again it's pretty easy it's pretty straightforward like for, for me and for myself like I already know how to um install all um all of these and such yeah I, I, I think i'd have to read it for now but <laughs> let's start right now starting with the first two ssds so now i'm gonna have to unscrew these guys gently screw number one screw number two and screw number three and here we go what's a little bit relieving about taking this removing this is because in my last my last ITX motherboard, there was a cable between these two because there's our um this piece had RGB in it. So, but since this has no RGB, no power cable, which is pretty nice to deal, you know. I don't, have, I don't have to deal with that again. So and yes, yeah, so when I I didn't know it last time when I was trying to install, you know, this SSD, I accidentally pulled the cable a little too hard and such. Now it's time to remove this plastic firm. Decided to actually um, zoom in the video for you guys. Ugh. How the heck do I even remove this? <sighs> that felt relaxing. <laughs> and now, in this main slot is going to be this SSD. The 980 SSD from Samsung. Oh yeah, before... um when, these SSDs were supposed to be installed on my friend's computer, but for some reason we came across issues and I was able to format both of these SSDs on my laptop, so they should be good to go. But I'm hoping I don't come across any problems with these SSDs once I turn on the computer for the first time or try to install Windows 10 so or 11. I don't know. This, I'm still deciding which SSD to uh, oh, wish Windows to get, Windows 10 or 11. Because there's some um, older um, games I want to play, but they're not. I don't think they're supportive in. Um, they have support on Windows 11 support, but yeah. Now time to remove this. Gotta be gentle. Ta-da! And now, get off my finger! Get off! Get off! Get off! Ugh. Now this piece is gonna go right here. Ugh! Careful! Come on! This is my first time doing it with this motherboard, so bear with me. Okay. I think that's I think that's good. And now hopefully, hopefully these can go in pretty nicely. We'll see. I don't recommend always screwing it too tight, but I usually do, but I shouldn't. <laughs> that's good enough. SSD number one already installed. And now we turn this motherboard. Oh my god, I'm so glad this thing is light. <laughs> we turn this upside down. And now it's time to install SSD number two, which goes right here. And I don't have the screw for this. I think I do. That's from the box. I'll show you guys this. Look at that. It's so tiny, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> uh. Now I gently screw this. Ta-da! Should be good to go. SSD number two fully installed. Just like that. And I'm curious like how cooling is gonna work for the SSD, you know, the SSD here in the back, but I'm not sure if a thermal pad is needed. 
maybe maybe that's what the extra thermal pad is for that it came with this but like how would it be cool exactly you know what i mean like i don't know i don't know i'm still gonna think about adding that but i always had two ssds in my previous itx um um motherboard i never installed it but it was pretty fine the whole time <laughs> So this is going to be the, my first experience ever installing my Intel CPU, which I have no idea what to do. I just literally just watched a one minute tutorial video. So apparently, here we go. You got to lift. Ugh. I'm being very, very gentle with this. Oh, wait, did I do it right? I don't know if I did it, even did it right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Am I doing this right or not? Or oh, yeah, there we go. See, there we go. This is my. This is bear with me, guys. Bear with me. This is my first time ever doing this. So, and now it's time for the one and only, the Intel Core i7 12700KF. Being very, very, very gentle. You can see my hairy hands in 4K. Oh my god, it's such a small CPU. Look at this. Wow. Look at it. And now... It's got lined up correctly. Am I doing this right? I'm, I'm being very careful to make sure I'm doing this right. Because I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to mess it up. Here we go. Uh, careful. Whew. There we there we go. <laughs> and now I'm praying this works fine. It should be fine. Okay. Now this comes out. And there we go. I'm I I I'll be honest with you guys, I was literally cringing the whole time. I was literally cringing the whole time. <laughs> I did not say a word. I was cringing the whole time. And I said to myself, Am I doing this right or not? Did I do it right? <laughs> oh god. Maybe I should have read the man manual first, just in case. I guess we could finally move on, but again, this is just my first time installing a Intel CPU. And I apparently I have to keep this. Uh, I didn't know, like, for Intel CPUs, you gotta keep a cover. And, and it's just weird how I had to install a CPU like this, because again, I've been with team, team AMD for a while. And it felt weird just installing this. <laughs> but yeah, it looks pretty cool. Looks, looks very secure as well. And now... It's time for the DDR5 RAM sticks. Pretty easy and simple. You just uh, unclip this first. There we go. And then we start with the first RAM stick. Here we go. There we go. Click. There we go. Nice and secured. It's a little dark and I can't see. Is it me or just knows that these these RAM sticks are a little bit thinner than the previous gen? Not sure if it's just, just me or not, but, and I'm having trouble, there we go, there we go. So I've noticed something a little weird. I thought my motherboard, my new ITX motherboard would come with these little um screws or whatever you call these, but the thing is, it doesn't. <laughs> so I have to steal this from my premium gaming computer because, well, I'm not going to be using it for a while. So it looks like I'm going to use these, these guys for the motherboard, but yeah. Let's see how, where do I have to install them? So the motherboard is going to be like this. It's going to be pretty much like this, I believe, or crap, I forgot. <laughs> like this, to, on the B section, exactly like this. B, 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 B. There goes one, there goes two. There goes three. You can see it's not outlined. Or maybe it's here. Wait, 
over here. Oh, maybe it is here. <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, it is here. It is. Voila. Starting with screw number one. There we go. Already secured so far. Ah, uh, I don't want to round off the... There we go. See? Part of me wish maybe I could move the ITX motherboard a little this way if I can, but... I'm not sure if I could. Maybe I can, maybe. Because how is the cable going to go? You know, the 3080 is going to go right here, right? The motherboard cable is going to go somehow through here, but right here at the same time, it's going to be the, the new uh, dual AIO coolers. So I'm a little confused on that. <clears throat> but the AIO cooler. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at this premium. Look at this. Welcome to Asus Rug, Republic of the Gamers. What is, what, is, what actually is this? I'm curious to see what this is. I wouldn't be surprised if it's an NFT card. <laughs> Will not be surprised. And here we are, the dual new RGB, not daisy chained actually, which is pretty surprisingly. Uh fans and here basically this whole entire thing is the new uh, cooler or radiator let me try to bring it out right now which is pretty tough here it is there it is Ugh. and before this out where's the stickers there's got to be stickers here we needed stickers no stickers i'll suffer where is it where is it the different cables here spare cables screws for the motherboard and such and manual and no stickers unfortunately <sighs> whatever i'm disappointed as usual thanks asus how about that Stickers! <laughs> Hell yeah. My life is now complete. Alright. Here's the Daisy Chain. Well, not, not Daisy Chain CPU fans. These are just traditional... Ah. Uh, fans. Just I'm surprised they're not, RG, uh, they're not Daisy Chain, but... It's alright. I think the new, the new version, the third one... Third gen, whatever you call it, it's going to be Daisy Chain. If you guys don't know what Daisy Chain is, basically, uh, imagine these two, imagine these two CPU, uh, these CPU fans being connected by magnets, like that. That means less cable. See these cables? Only one of these fans will require cable, not two. And imagine this has power, right? As soon as you connect to this one, this one will receive power. Then power, third fan, then power, fourth fan, power, you, you, I hope you guys get it. That's how they transfer the power and such, which is pretty cool and pretty easy to build, especially for for um um big uh on um, PC builds. But honestly, for two fans, it's okay. It's passable in my opinion. It's not really the deal you complain about. And here's the here it is. This is actually a little longer than I thought <laughs> for a uh, for a little ITX build that I have. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? Holy crap. Here it is. What the heck? This thing is bigger than I thought. <laughs> Jesus. It's actually bigger than I thought. Wow. Look at that. I actually love how this thing is the protective, um, protective cap. Protection caps, they call it, has also the ASUS printed on it. See? 
Isn't it cool or what? <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Little cool details from Asus. They just want to, I guess, up their game on um, on packaging and protecting the parts. This actually, this is actually pretty cool. I can't lie. This is actually really, really nice, well detailed from Asus. That's why I love their products. Ugh. Oh, I just, eh, it doesn't matter. I broke it. But yeah, there we go. See. Now it's time to install a new CPU fans. Now it's time to install the CPU fans. So we're gonna start with this guy first. <sighs> this goes like this. And this goes like this. Pretty easy and simple. Kinda hate how um these are not daisy chained. I wish they are, but they they're not, so that means more cables are gonna be tangled when it comes to building this but it is what it is Ugh. Fan number one, fully secured. <sighs> and now fully secured. Voila. Doesn't that look beautiful or what? I'm curious what these little screws are for, but I think this is actually to install the radiator and in the case. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what basically it is for. And yeah, there it is. It's ready to go, ready to be installed. <clears throat> so I've already installed the newest uh dual AIO cooler for this uh i7 2700 KF. It was pretty easy to install. I couldn't install this guy, this one screw, because literally a cable, the power the power cable to you know it's power on this uh computer is literally in the way, so I was like, no, nah, I'm not gonna risk it. But now, I guess that it's time to install more cables, the power cables and such, so. It's gonna be, I just realized that this is gonna be a little tough to build because, um, what was I gonna say? These cables are for the, from the case, right? These are from the case. These are for the, C the CPU coolers. This is also for the CPU cooler, this cable right here, which is gonna go like this. And don't forget the the power cables for the motherboard and such. All the power, all the cables here. There's gonna be a lot of cables, so I just realized that this is gonna have a lot of cables exposed outside. But I'm just I'm gonna do my best to do some cable management. So it's tied to I guess install some cables. I guess <laughs> here we go with the cable mod. New fresh cables. Opening up. I just love smelling cables. I know I'm a freak, but it just smells so goddamn good. <laughs> oh yeah, these new fresh cables. Look at that. Oh, goddamn freak. Oh, oh my gosh. Nice. Well, this is bad. Great. Uh, so I didn't expect this mo main motherboard, motherboard, <laughs> motherboard, motherboard cable to be this short unless I have to extend it. Ugh. 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 We got extended, but for some, it's, it's not going to fit. Look at this. 
Cable mod, seriously? Why did you guys make this short? Am I being stupid right now? I can't... Oh my god. I actually can't extend this. What the heck? Really, Cable mod? Are you actually being serious? I can't. Oh god. Do you guys see the problem with this? This cable cannot go from here all the way to here. Um, well, that's a fail. Hopefully, I got this extra spare. I believe I do have the extra spare cable of this somewhere in my house. I'm going to have to look in my garage, but this is not a good look so far. Really? Uh, great. Great, great, great. So, it's been an hour since I've recorded I basically plugged in everything, and as you can tell, it looks absolutely like abomination. <clears throat> I'll be honest with you guys, I don't remember my this case being this hard to work on. Yeah, it could be simple if you just install a traditional air-cooled CPU cooler, whatever you call those, or the, the AMD, AMD stock one. But this guy, oh my god, this guy has so much cables. All this is mostly from this. And these cables are really thick. The motherboard cable. The CPU cables. It's, it's a god. You, you could tell. It's a goddamn mess. And the fact that there's like lack of openings like this. I can't really use them at all. I wish there was more like an opening right here or something. But there's nothing. Literally there's nothing. So I'm just like. Uh, I have no other choice to but leave it like a mess. It, it looks pretty ridiculous in my opinion. Not the best work I could do, but I feel like this is the best I could do at the same time. Basically. <laughs> Look at that. Look at I'm going to zoom in for you guys. Just for you guys. Look how much a mess it is. Look at this. And it's going to be a tough installing a 3080. The 3080 is going to go obviously right here. And look at all this cable. It looks like a spaghetti. And I've done my best to organize the cables with these um zip ties and these custom Asus. Whatever you call this. Zip ties, I'll just say. And yeah, it's it's a mess. It's a mess. <laughs> and now it's time for the final piece, the iconic RTX 3080 Founders Edition, which just for you guys, zoom it out all the way. Here it is. Now I'm gonna try to install it, which is gonna be a little challenging because these, these cables are in the goddamn way. This guy has to be pushed down. Every time, I, every time I do this, I feel like I'm damaging the motherboard, but I think the motherboard will be just fine. But there we go. Ugh, come on, you can do it. Get these goddamn cables out of the way. Come on. Oh my god, it's painful just doing this. Ugh. Ugh. This is not a good look at all. It cannot push all the way in if you guys know what I mean. It looks good from here, this angle, but it's not... Insert inside the right the PCI slot here. Uh, now what? So since I cannot install my 3080 this way, I can actually install it this way thanks to this bracket from Thimble Take. I I, I I had a feeling I would have to use this, and then honestly, it looks a lot better, especially doing um going like this. The ODA is gonna be you know, it's gonna look more uh, awesome and such. But yeah, my little concern is that. It sucks the air in, right? It takes the air out. Where's that hot air gonna go? It's gonna go into the CPU cooler, so... But, eh, at the same time, it's gonna hide the uh, terrible cable management, so... <laughs> at least that's the other good side. That's a good side to, like, both, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, let's try and install this right now. A little later. After hours of building... This is actually the shortest time I've ever built a computer. My new temporary gaming PC is finally done. What a mess it looks, but I'm already tired, you guys can tell, and here it is. Ta-da! <laughs> oh my god, look at the monstrosity, the abomination this gaming computer is. So, you guys might be noticing something. One, the cable management is terrible. I can't lie, working on this computer is actually a pain in the ass. Well, working on this case... It's a pain in the ass because there's not a lot of enough gaps or, or holes for cable management. There's simply not enough. 
which is a little pain in the ass to work. And also, yeah, this power supply is so old, it actually does not have enough of um four pin um slots to power the RTX 3080 I have below. So I have to make a sacrifice and downgrade to the RTX 2080 Super. <laughs> this is my my uh, second ever GPU. Haven't used this guy for years, and you could tell it's a pretty old GPU. And it's only it's it's I can only use it because this is what the power supply is capable with. But I'll be honest with you guys, I think later on this year, I'm definitely gonna upgrade the power supply to a um let's say at, at least 1200 watt and I, if once i upgrade my power supply to 12 at least 1200 then i could swap this out and actually sw um swap the rtx 4080 with you know take this out 20 super and get the 4080 installed here but the 4080 is currently at the repair shop for my streaming computer and i think for the streaming computer i'm gonna bring back the rtx 3080 which is the link sitting below but yeah, here it is. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not too happy <laughs> about the kill management. This is the best I can do. I know some of you guys think you guys can do better. But the truth is, not only this freaking um CPU cooler has too many fans. I mean, not too many fans, too many cables. But again, there's simply not enough holes for cable management. See, like a gap here. This is what I'm talking about, right? Sneaking in the motherboard cable, the CPU, let's see all these cables to sneak in. I have to lower this entire um, CPU fan to make to make this to make room for these guys to go through. That's the best I can do. That's literally the best. I did not, I don't remember going through all of this. And you see, these are the only two gaps I have to rely on. This gap right here, this small gap, and this gap below. Like I have no other choices. And there's not really there's a gap right there. You guys can see, but. I can't really put any cables through that because the PCI connector is literally blocking the way and it's small as well. So yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it's the best I can do. It's the best I could do. But other than that, <laughs> it's finally complete. It looks so goddamn weird and it's time to finally power up and hope for the best. Hope it works at least if it doesn't work i'm about to cry <laughs> well just install the keyboard mouse monitor power is about to be on <sighs> it's been a while since i have an actual gaming computer again nearly three months i am praying this goes well if not i'm about to explode I've been taking so many L's in the past months when it comes to gaming computers, <laughs> but here we go. Everything seems plugged in. I hopefully didn't make any mistakes while building this. Everything seems fine. <sighs> Windows 10 installation media is inside the Lamborghini flash drive. You know. And yeah, <sighs> hope everything goes well. Power on oh my god that looks so beautiful <laughs> oh my god <gasps> look at that all right five four three two one Oh my god, isn't that beautiful or what? Whew. Oh my god. Okay, this is a little concerning. The CPU, I mean, the cable. Ugh, I don't like the cable being too close here. I'm gonna try to drag it here for now. There we go. I'm not getting any uh hello is there a way to change this uh, 
Ugh. So I'm not getting any signal so far. No HDMI 2.0. Uh, how do I do this? Okay, uh... How do I do this? What the heck? This cable is probably not good enough. Oh god, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. <laughs> well, I'm not getting any signal. After some troubleshooting, I finally got signal. Oh, yeah. I believe the reason why I'm not getting signal is because it's the PCI, um, whatever the heck you call this. Uh, I, I, I can't even think right now. Whatever the heck you call this, I got to get a new fresh one. Probably at least a PCI 5.0 riser cable, whatever you call this. This is an old riser cable. It's like my first ever. It came with the Asus. I mean, not Asus, with the Thermaltake Take case. And if I remember correctly, years ago, literally 2018 or 2019, I actually had a couple issues with this guy. So it seems like I have to buy another one. So I guess I have to add that on my list, but everything seems fine. So far, it is detected. My SSD, DDR5 RAM, OneDrive, F1. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, God. It feels so good. Oh, my God. CPU temp seems pretty good. At least so far. CPU fan. It actually detects the CPU fan for once. Uh, Here's the Intel. Uh, advanced mode. This is my first ever Intel, uh, CPU. So I I do not know a lot about this. I gotta really educate myself. But I've been told by my um technicians that if my CPU temperature is at fifty on BIOS, that's not good. And it was on BIOS on my previous computer. This guy right here, which I have no idea why. Uh, and the someone from Reddit told me that Asus is notoriously known for overclocking their um, CPUs, which is not good. And what I like about this is I finally can actually, <laughs> unlike this guy, I can actually control my my fan speeds. Look at that! I can actually look at that. I can actually control my fan speeds now. It it feels good. It actually feels good. But um, we'll leave this now for on easy mode. Save and exit. Everything should be good. I don't want to jinx it. Windows installation media is right here. Not sure if it'll, it'll go on a loop. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm a little nervous, not going to lie. Now it's entering power mode, or the monitor at least. I can't lie, I cannot stop staring at this. This looks so cool. <laughs> but, um, oh, I guess I gotta wait. Unless it's gonna be on a loop. This is that's pretty new, the new Aces logo logo. Republic of Gamers. Oh yeah. I should also note that um when I for my two SSDs, I think I mentioned previously earlier in the video that um I had issues with those two SSDs. I don't know why. When I tried to, when my friend and I try to install his SSD. <gasps> Okay, don't get too excited. Don't get too excited. Let's see if the, the SSDs really work. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't have product key. A little later. This is what I'm talking about. For some reason, Windows cannot be installed in one of these SSDs. I have no idea why. Luckily, it could be installed here. Yeah, for some reason. See, I, I, I do not know why. 
this is the issue that I have with these two SSDs. We couldn't create a new parchin parchin location of the existing one. For more information, yeah. I got a little too excited. I do not know what's wrong with these SSDs, but ah, <sighs> kind of disappointing so far. But um, one hour later, I think I fixed it. I had the exact same issue with this with the SSDs back at my friend's house when I I decided to give him one of my SSDs for free as a Christmas gift, late Christmas gift, and for some reason for some reason I couldn't install Windows Ten on the SSD. It says we couldn't create parts and we couldn't create. Something like that. All I had to do was just delete and add a create new partition, something like that. And now for some reason, it seems like everything is working. <laughs> uh, okay, I gotta make sure this all of this could be you know working correctly. But wow, it seems like I'm back. I'm finally going to have a gaming computer once again. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm surprised at how quiet this thing is and how beautiful it looks. Again, this is temporary. I'm going to only use the 28 Super for now. Once I get a brand new power supply for this guy, I'm probably going to slap a 4080, my 4080 on this thing when I get it back from the repair shop. And yeah, other than that, it seems like <laughs> everything is good. I'm legit surprised, guys. It's been months. It's big. Freaking nearly three months of no gaming computer. <laughs> oh my god. It's actually happening. I'm back, baby. Oh yeah. Alright, it's getting ready. It's getting ready. Oh, moment of silence. Hopefully everything goes, goes through. Again, I haven't been gaming on a computer for a long ass time. It's nice to see a gaming computer that actually works in my room. <laughs> so far, I don't want to jinx it. But look how wild this thing looks. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at it. Look at it. I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. Alright. Alright. I think it's about to happen. Let's go, baby! I'm back! <laughs> Woo! Hell yeah! Looks like I'm back, baby. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> For some reason, I cannot, take to, cannot connect to the internet, but... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I finally have a gaming computer now. <laughs>